Let's see. Hello, we're recording. I heard a beep. That's how I know we're recording. Uh, today's date, it is December 14th of 2016. Time is 4.15 a.m. I've just made some changes around here. I think I'll probably need to change things again. Uh, I don't know if I did a video on it or if uh, I know I blogged about it. The fact that I didn't have a uh, Microsoft key for Windows 10. I had one for the other computer and this computer here was running was even running the advanced uh, cutting edge uh, where you get the never getting any notice. Then I formatted and then when I went to no key, uh, they directed, Microsoft directed me, Windows 10 directed me to a place where I could uh, purchase for $199. The software, but uh, so anyway, I blogged about it here. No, this is why I blogged that I here I blogged about it and the fact that uh, I could get a key for twenty eight dollars, just a key, and that I had got one from this company before. Uh, I'll put the link for these people down below because. About a year ago, I got a key from them, and it worked fine. And I got one yesterday, and it works fine. So now I have new installs of Windows 10 on both my computers. And Windows is running really fast, and everything is working. But I have very little uh, on the computers. If, if I load them up, I'm sure, with stuff, they may run fast for a while and be good, but in a few months, and six months, they need to be formatted. Uh, I have purchased so much software and basically right now I don't have hardly anything on here. That's why it's working so great. But I have, if you're seeing this, I have what I, uh, what I need on here. So I'll put a link in case you need a, and by the way, I got for that price, uh, Windows 10 professional key. And I don't know, this may be the first time I've run the professional version of any Windows version. Maybe I had one in the past. I don't think so. Because I don't remember ever purchasing a version of Windows, like from a store. I, it always came on a computer, I think. Anyway. Um, I thought this might be interesting. I just found this on Facebook. Some questions. You might answer along with me. Let's be truthful here. Uh, have you ever smoked weed? What do you think about me? I'm 75 years old. No, never smoked weed. Have you ever popped any pills? I've never popped any pills. Have you ever gone streaking? That's a hard one. No pun intended. I'd say no, but you'll see why I'm hesitating. I never went running around someplace naked, you know, out through the public or anything like that. Have you ever gone skinny dipping? Positively, yes. Uh, I went to a, for a weekend, went to a nudist resort. I um, went to have some nudist events. I joined a nudist club. So I definitely been skinny dip. Have you ever been arrested? This may surprise you. I've been arrested twice. Have you ever gotten into a fist fight? 
there's another one of those questions. I worked uh, as a police officer. I uh, worked for thir over 30 years as a hospital security officer. So, yeah, I've been in some. I've been in a lot of fights, a lot. But I think they mean, have you ever gone out and, you know, been at a bar and punched somebody out or something like that? Have you ever gotten drunk? This will surprise you, unless you've been following me over the years. Have you ever gotten drunk? No, never. I do not drink. Don't drink at all. Although I have, a few times I've had a, had a cold beer, and I've even been contemplating uh, keeping beer on hand here. Uh, I try to keep orange juice on hand, believe it or not, and have that like in the morning that saves me from drinking a Coke. Uh, and I, I'm thinking I should have some beer on hand and then at night before going to bed instead of having Coca-Cola I would have a beer. It would just save me from drinking soda pop. Have you ever wrecked a car? Uh, no. I slid off a road one time at a, at a stop sign, went into a ditch, crumpled up the fender a little bit. I don't think that counts. I, uh, working as a security officer, I was in the parking garage uh, loading up salt and sand in the truck, uh, and I forgot and left the tailgate up on the uh, thing, and when I drove through the garage, that hit and smashed. But I don't think that's, I, I uh, no, I've never been in a, well, I take that back. I was in a uh, traffic accident, but I wasn't driving. I was a kid. We were on the way to Missouri State Fair, and uh, an old farmer, well, I don't know whether he was old, but there was a farmer going down the highway in a tractor, and everybody was backed up behind him because uh, he was going slow, and this was a state highway. And then the farmer just came to his drive, and he just <laughs> turned, and the cars had to hit the brakes. And I know we bumped into the car a little bit that was in front of us that stopped. My uncle was driving. And we bumped into it. But we were, the, at that point, the last car, and it was a hill and so there was a car coming like 55 miles an hour or something like that up over the hill and as soon as it came over the hill there all these cars were and they plowed, they plowed in the back of us. I wasn't hurt. Uh, my aunt was, I was in the back seat with my mother. Uh, my aunt was in the front seat in front of me. I was on the passenger side in the back seat and uh, I think she cracked a rib or broke some rib or something. And, but uh, so I guess now nah, wrecked a car. I think they mean you're driving. No, egged someone's house. No. Uh, I do not wa know what played. Ditch dong ditch, ding dong ditch. I have no idea what that is. Been suspended. I don't know what that means, suspended from school? I think they mean suspended from school. Uh, no. If they mean suspended driving, the answer would be the no to that. Been expelled? No. Pulled a fire alarm? Uh, yes, once a week. Uh, but I don't think they mean that. I, when I was working hospital security at Trinity Lutheran Hospital, I was the day shift, well, was, for a few years I was second shift supervisor then. I was also day shift supervisor and uh, once a week I had to test the fire alarm system. So actually I didn't pull the alarm. I would have an employee pull the alarm so they would know what it was like to break the glass uh, and
and they would also know where you know. So I, I would that was part of the thing that I did. Director of Security, Security objected, said that uh, that those glass things cost money, and we were spending too much doing one a week. And I told him no, we were going to continue to do it because when people would do it, people would say, oh, I didn't know it'd be that difficult to break, or I didn't know it'd be that easy to break, or whatever. So. TP'd someone's property, didn't we cover, didn't we, wasn't that, uh, I guess it wasn't, okay, because I'd looked through this list before I, uh, TP'd someone's property, no, stolen something, yes, when I was in grade school, uh, second, third, fourth grade, someplace in there, the other, my other friends were, and I wasn't. Uh, they were staying, you know, little, I guess like kids do. <clears throat> but uh, I went along with them, and I, there was a girl that I liked, Carrie Benavia, and I stole the bracelet. It looked really, it was, I mean, it was inexpensive, I'm sure, but it looked really fancy. So I stole it and gave it to her. And her mother called my mother to make sure it was okay for me to give her such an expensive, it wasn't expensive, you know, bracelet or whatever, and I was busted. First time thief and caught, and caught by my mother. Gotten a ticket, yes. Uh, several speeding tickets. One time I got a ticket for not having a current state tag on my car. Drag raced, no. But like I said, I was a police officer so there was some times I went really fast. One time I was doing 100 miles an hour or over 100 miles an hour chasing someone. Drag raced? No. Got in a felony? No. Graffitied something? No. Been fired from a job? Yes, twice. And it would have been three times, but I didn't know that they, the uh, boss was waiting to fire me, and I went over and quit for another, for, you know, for another reason. And uh, so that would have been three times. I found out about the fact that he was going to fire me after two or three weeks. He got fired, and uh, so we were communicating, you know, by email or whatever or maybe it was in chat mode, and he said, you know, Jim, I was going to have to fire you, and I didn't know whether I could fire you or not, and they explained what it was, and I said, yeah, you can fire somebody for something like that. So, how did you rate? I didn't add them up, and let's not add them up. I wonder if somebody got them all. Yeah, oh yeah, easily. Smoked weed, popped pills, shriek, shriek, shrieking, streaking, etc., etc. Let's see. Look at this here. These are the statistics from my YouTube page. Here's my YouTube page. Not sure how many of you actually like come to the to the home page which is what, HNBBS, you know, YouTube, you know. I think usually probably what you do is just get notified of a uh, video because you've subscribed or something and then you come and look at that video or or you may be looking at Facebook and you see it posted there that I have uploaded a video and then you watch it, that you know, click on it and you probably go to YouTube and watch it there but then you don't look at the other. I have playlist and everything. I really need to pay attention to the YouTube site and work on it and forget about working on my blog since so few of you now go to my blog. Uh, 
back to the dashboard here. See up here where it says, well, views. I'm, I'm coming up uh, on a million views. But over here, 1,974 subscribers. Um, I, um, I started, I was one of the first people to sign up for YouTube back in 2005. I was doing video before they came into existence for many years before them. Uh, so here it is, 2016, and I, I have been sitting at right underneath 2,000, getting 2,000 subscribers for ever. And I made an appeal to you people before. I fell down on the ground and I cried and I begged, please subscribe, <laughs> please push me to you. Nothing. You people are tormenting me. You're torturing me. Although 2,000 is, uh, that's nothing. Some, you know. But anyway, but uh, the thing's been up. I picked up 35 in the last month subscribers. So I guess actually you did. Some of you people who heard my appeal did. You can see that I make uh, about $30 a month from YouTube. I spend more than that for YouTube utilities and uh, I pay for YouTube free or whatever they call that, Ten, I think 10 bucks a month or something. And uh, an awful lot of you, I'm sure, are using I'm not sure if ad blocker. No, I don't think ad blocker blocks the, ad, the the advertisements in the videos, but there are extensions that you can get that I think do that. Uh, but if you do pay the ten dollars a month for YouTube free or whatever it is, you get a bunch of extras. You get extra, and you get no advertising. Uh, and that money is divided up among all of the people, YouTube creators. So that would be a way you might, you know, uh, I run ad blocker too now. I didn't for years, but in the last year or some, at some point I run ad blocker because the sites that have these pop-up ads and have all the stuff, they just went fucking crazy. Okay, uh, what, okay, that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. So, a uh, real quick update, I just moved my Roku TV into the other room, and I took the TV that was in the other room, that was a regular TV, but with a Roku unit, I put it in the closet, and, uh, because I can watch Netflix on my computer screen and I can watch and plus two in the other room the the regular TV set with the Roku 2 uh, I couldn't get it working right or something I mean I, I can get it but I'd have to use I was having to use a volume so anyway so I put that in closet temporarily and I have no TV in this room but I have a lot of uh, desk space here that I can uh, that I can use and I just decided to do that just a few minutes ago so things are things are kind of messy right now I have to decide where and I'd already moved this down here in order to make room for that I'd moved it it was over here the Roku or the TV the Roku 2 unit TV was here and then I moved it over there it didn't quite fit in over there Uh, what is happening, let's see, today? What am I going to be doing today? Well, I guess I'll be trying to install things on two computers, Windows programs, and already this morning, in fact, one of the programs that I had just purchased, <laughs> and, you know, I formatted and did a bunch of things for the last few days, formatted, formatted, installed, uninstalled, moved around, and so one of the programs that I already bought 
well, in fact, the one I'm using right now to record the screen ca the uh, screen capture and uh, everything. They got they you know gave me a notice when I tried to run it saying you know you have installed this on too many computers. We are you know we'll reset it for you one time. And that's it. You can only do this twice a year or something. I forget what. I hate that. I understand, though, you know. But I have spent so much money over the years. God, oh, my God. I bought so many computers, printers, and the price I played, and modems in the past, uh, before the World Wide Web came, and they were so expensive. Uh, and I do not even want to think about the amount of money that I've spent just on themes for WordPress. And now you're not coming to my site the way you used to. Uh, I bet I've spent over a thousand dollars, which is crazy, because several of the themes that I bought cost uh, a couple hundred dollars or something like that. And then I subscribed to Club where you pay so much a month, 20 bucks a month or something like that. And then you, they come out basically with a new theme each month and then you can get that for free. And, and uh, the amount of money I've spent on this hobby is unbelievable. I really cannot afford, of course this is like part of this, but you know, but I'm also, you know, an amateur radio operator, and I can't afford, I'm going to consider, that, consider this, although it's a necessity, I pay my bills, I, I, I if my computer, in, if my service went down, or my computer broke, and I couldn't get online, or, or something, I wouldn't know how to pay, uh, I wouldn't know how to pay a bill. I wouldn't know how to check my bank balance. I wouldn't know anything. I'm totally dependent on it. Um, but I can't afford photography, computers, amateur radio. I can only afford one hobby, and I can barely afford that. Anyway, uh, Echo. What's the weather going to be today in Fort Worth? Right now in Fort Worth, it's 37 degrees with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has lots of clouds, with a high of 54 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. Okay, thank you very much for watching.